This launch means the absolute world to me. Flight Control LC, go ahead, this flight control. If there is a presence out there, he's going to be standing right next to us at the launch. T minus 10, 9. Space is a difficult place to visit. 8, 7. You're going to be extra, extra careful. 6, 5, 4. I think this will kind of allow us to start moving forward. 3, we have ignition. Space is really a legacy for me and my family. It started with my grandfather, who was the science and space editor for the Sunday Express, and wrote various novels, short stories and articles, all the way through the space race. He covered things through the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. That passion fell through to my father, which then also influenced me. I even remember as a child, watching and looking up into the constellations with my dad as he'd pick out all the different stars, so all things science and space he was extremely passionate about. And that really inspired me, especially when I launched Impel Talent and we were looking at different industries that we wanted to invest our time into. Science and space really drew to me and it probably is because of the deep personal connection I have to both Robert Chapman and Robert Chapman Sr. So in our family, science and space has really been within our blood. So on January 8th, we're launching my dad's ashes into deep space. He passed away in March of 2021 to COVID. Uh, and because of restrictions and challenges at the time, we didn't really give him the send off that we really wanted to. And uh, when this opportunity came up to launch his ashes on the Vulcan rocket as part of the Enterprise mission, it was a dream come true. The Enterprise flight is our first Voyager series of missions. It's the first time we've ever gone significantly outside of Earth's orbit. And it is going to fly on a Vulcan Centaur rocket. We have about 238 people on board. Ultimate trajectory is about 300 million kilometers to a heliocentric, which means around the sun, orbit. Once we attain that orbit, we'll change the name from Enterprise Flight to Enterprise Station because it'll be the furthest human outpost in the solar system. It'll be there as long as there's a sun. When I heard about this launch, the first thing that came to mind was the art of storytelling. And at Impel Talent, we are always talking about sharing our personal stories because this is what people connect with. Building genuine human connections starts with telling genuine stories. Impel Talent is extremely unique because we're really the first company to combine recruitment, leadership development, and career coaching all under one roof. Our vision is to build high-performing teams through genuine human connection, fostering and building relationships, not just with candidates or delegates that we work with, but the clients and our own employees. We work across renewables, life sciences, and space and technology, but space and technology became one of our biggest and fastest growing areas across the company. It sort of lit something within me that took me back to times I'd shared with my father or my grandfather and, and continues to do that today. Hey. Hi, Mom, how are you? I'm good, I'm packed, I'm ready to roll. What about you? I'm uh, just finishing up, actually. I'm just getting a few things done. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Really, we couldn't commemorate him in a, in a better way. So excited to see you, excited to see your sister. Well, look, safe travels, okay? And uh, I'll see you in Florida. Take care. All right, love you. I've seen my mom for the first time for a year leading up to the launch and she's getting really excited to watch something so meaningful to all of us.
Impel Talent actually works with companies to help them on their cultural journey, whether that's helping establish their values, their vision, their mission, and that is all told through storytelling. OneWeb is one of the most special clients, if not the most special client we've worked with. We started working together two and a half years ago in some of the infancy stages of Vimpel Talent, and that makes it a very special relationship. And it's also why, you know, when it comes down to having a launch here and, and my dad's ashes being launched into space, I was super keen to come and visit a client that I think has been so impacted by what Impel has become. Our vision is really to develop as one of the leading, if not the leading supplies of spacecraft. So Impel Talent have been absolutely key in our rolling out our mission and vision. The fact that Nathaniel and Impel Talent are doing something as cool as, you know, launching his father's ashes into space, it shows that real connection to the space industry. I think that real passion allows them to also understand our business, understand the market, the challenges, the opportunities. It's really that genuine human connection that they have with our organization. I think the key aspect which makes them stand out is very personal. There is a high level of engagement with their team and it's a journey. Space is a difficult place to visit. You know, talking about the connection with Nathan's father and Ashes, it just really symbolizes how space was that frontier. It was the barrier people never really explored. But now we're not only exploring, but we are also making it a home where we can do things as simple as scattering ashes, where it's something where we feel there is an emotional attachment. My dad loved Star Trek, and when I was a child, there was actually a series that came out called Enterprise that I grew up watching at home and certainly watching with my father. So when we found out that the launch was called the Enterprise mission and the rocket that my father was going up in was the Vulcan rocket, and that there were some incredible Star Trek legends going up, it was absolutely a no-brainer. Gene Roddenberry is the creator of Star Trek. Major Barrett Roddenberry, his wife, was Nurse Chapel on the original series, and their son, Rod Roddenberry, is flying his DNA along with his parents on this mission. The entire Enterprise mission is really the result of a promise that I made to Major Barrett Roddenberry. At our first launch, we had asked her if she'd let us fly her husband, and she said, yeah, Charlie, I'll do that, but you have to promise me that when it's my time, you'll fly the two of us together on a deep space mission. Being 28 year old kid at the time with no better thought about it, I said, of course I'll do that. No idea how we would do that at that time. This was 1997. But for me, this is gonna be a big rock off of my shoulder. I fulfilled my promise to somebody who is very important to us. You can say that without the Roddenberries, we might not even be here today. When my rockets were on the launch pad and I was there and I watched it take off, I got a feeling that was impossible for me to duplicate anywhere else, that personal connection to the mission. And then when you think about a situation where dad is on board, friends are on board, we always are working with people that are in some stage of grief. They've lost someone dear and near to them. We won't ever eliminate that grief, but what we do is we move people along that grief process to where maybe we give them a little bit of joy and we give them some fulfillment. My father was a man fascinated with what lies in the world around him and beyond. He was a chemist, a scientist, and an engineer striving for knowledge and stories. For him to join the creator and different cast members of the original Star Trek television series, as well as astronauts, presidents, and your loved ones today, it would have absolutely blown his mind. For those of you that might understand this last line, so long and thanks for all the fish. Humans are naturally curious creatures. We want to learn. 
we want to explore, we want to have adventures. From what I've seen in the time that I've been here, it's all about the human connection. And I see people here telling their stories about their loved ones, how much they were connected to space, how they grew up watching movies, reading books, doing research, doing engineering and science, and how much they loved space exploration and the excitement behind it. You know, that's really the, I would say the most important thing of all is the human connection. Anytime you're flying the first of a series of rockets, you're gonna be extra, extra careful. Assuming a successful launch, after liftoff we'll achieve orbit, and then the Centaur stage will burn again and take us on a trajectory to deep space. We've been waiting on this for two years now, and although we had a funeral, this was always the big thing for him. This was the final goodbye, um, and I don't think there's ever a time where you kind of get over your grief, but I think this will kind of allow us to start moving forward. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on the Space Coast of Florida. I'm NASA's Megan Cruz. Now we have a 45-minute launch window that opens at 2.18 and 38 seconds Eastern time. 85% go for tonight. He always wanted to come to the Space Kennedy Center. We had planned on doing it when he retired, which would have been the year that he passed. I just wish he could have been here, and I know if there is a presence out there, he's going to be standing right next to us at the launch. This launch means the absolute world to me. Flight control, LC. Go in this flight control. Status check. Go Vulcan. Go Centaur. Go Perry. T-minus 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, we have ignition. Release and full thrust. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. The launch itself was such an incredible experience. To watch the rocket soar into the heavens was wrapped up in emotions of like fulfillment, excitement, uh, you know, this final page closing on grief. This rocket reaches into the unknown and fires into brand new territory. And that fuels me, fuels me for the future. You know, I look forward to the day where I get to stand outside with my kids and point up into the stars and at the constellations and let them know that a little piece of our family is up there and circulating us in the solar system.